Have you got a job interview coming up? Well, mark my words, if you follow what this guy does, you will get it with flying colours. Maybe. to show you how to do a job interview so you don't just get the job you fucking smash its head <laughs> <laughs> it looks like his tattoos on his arm he's just got a bit of a, a either a biro or a sharpie and drawn them on and that moustache i don't think i'd give a, a job to someone with a moustache like that no chance wish me luck <laughs> what is in his bag g'day how the fuck are you how the fuck are you <laughs> Hi, Mr. E. Take a seat. All right. It's going well so far, but they've just offered me a seat, right? But I'm trying to come across as, you know, bloody assertive. And if I sit down, I'm going to seem lazy. Exactly as I said about Paul Hogan. Um, breaking the fourth wall. Speaking to the audience. This is another one. I didn't know this was what he did. Um, but it draws the audience in and it makes you actually feel like you are his mate, and he is teaching you. Fuck your seat. <laughs> okay. Um, we've had a chance to review your resume, and there's a few things we'd like to clear up. All right, the important thing with resumes is honesty is bloody paramount, all right? Uh, they don't want to see some bullshit on there like, oh, I was in the bloody homosexual debating team at fucking school or whatever, right? <laughs> uh, what they want to know is if push comes to shove, you're the right man to stab this job in the showers and let it twitching and bleeding in a pile of its own shit, all right? <laughs> so check this shit out. Under your list of achievements, you have street fighting champion. Yep. To be fair, I was never very good at Street Fighter. So that is quite an achievement. Give him the job. And uh, standover man with 18 unofficial kills. That's right, 18 of the fuckers didn't do time for any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, we do appreciate that. Um, what would you say your weaknesses are? Uh, Nanish tarts. <laughs> what, they're yummy? What, they're fucking yummy? <coughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, also, if if, they, if 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 a company asks you what is your weakness, never say honesty. Never say honesty. Okay. What do you think you'd bring to the job? Ah oh, well, twenty-two automatic, <laughs> Colt forty-five Eagle, stick of gel ignite, four ten shotgun. What am I watching oh, stick here? Of gel ignite. Meat cleaver. I suppose I, I did ask what was in the bag. No, uh, I think I mean, what of your good qualities could you offer to the role of Chief Human Resources Manager? Oh, well, you know, uh, I'm a people person. That's complete bullshit. I kill people all the time, right? <laughs> uh, but there's no point in finding out before I've got the job. <laughs> OK, just getting back to your resume, you've got under references Neville Bartos. <laughs> yes. Well, when we rang Mr. Bartos to speak to him, we could hear your voice in the background. Yes? Yes, I heard you say, um, tell him I'm effing tops or I'll effing chop off the other one. <laughs> but did he say good things about me? <laughs> yes. Well, there you fucking go. He's a psychopath. OK, um, Mr. Reed, we're not quite sure you're the right guy for the job, but do you have anything else to add? All right, now it's time to get assertive. Give me this fucking job in 10 seconds or I'll shoot you where you sit. <laughs> Congratulations. It's yours. <laughs> Congratulations to me, eh? Oh, man, he's an absolute psycho. See? With a little bit of finesse, some clever responses and a firearm, you too can have the job that you've always wanted, yeah? What do I even say to this? Anyway, I'm Chopper Reed, and that's a fucking job interview. Yeah. The man's a psycho. This character is a nut job. Um, oh, you, you probably wouldn't have seen this, but uh, Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere, Peter Kay and Paddy McGuinness, there's a scene in that where Paddy meets his old friend, who is a psychopath, right? Paddy knows it. But Peter Kay doesn't. 
the character of Peter Kay, uh, Max, doesn't realise. And they stop at a... Uh, they stop at a service station, middle of the night. They've closed. And this, and this psycho mate of his goes, don't worry, I'll deal with it. And he walks up and this little old lady who's, who's cleaning, you know, he shows the gun and basically gets breakfast. Um, it's that almost thing of a gun can get you anything. Wow, this guy's mental. If I was you... I, I wouldn't listen to any of it. Do not listen to any of it. And do not take a firearm into an interview unless it is for a job that requires a firearm. Okay? All right? So basically, you have learned from this. Do the opposite. Chop a reed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.